Hey everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles. Thank you so much for subscribing and being here. And uh, I'm obviously Be Divine. And I welcome to the month of September, the guidance for the month of September. Okay, so with this particular energy, it's me talking a little bit about what angel we're working with, what message that angel brought through, and what I feel the energies of September are going to bring into our life um, as we're moving forward okay so i hope that this finds you happy and well i hope that you've been enjoying the videos and thank you to everybody who has been sharing and subscribing and have been here for a really really long time because i've found out recently that a lot of you have been here with me since the beginning which is awesome it's like 10 years ago now so thank you and um, hopefully you will enjoy the messages that come through stay tuned because uh, this week I'm going to be doing a lot of different types of readings with you all as well, okay, to help bring in the wisdom, the changes and empower you to make the life changes that you need to to get on your path as well. So we're working with the, and I'm looking down because I've got this on my website, okay, I'm looking down the angel for September is Zuriel, okay, Zuriel works with the energy of Libra um, or oversees those born under the star sign Libra or has Libra in their chart, the element of air, and works with the throat chakra as well. So, you know, helping you to communicate, this is what it's all about, helping you to um, express yourself how you need to, or what the best way to do that for you, okay? Everybody's different, of course. So, we don't want to always say, okay, this worked for that person, so I'm going to do it in that way. But this is more about communicating your needs, wants and desires to the universe and also opening up to the opportunities that come because of it. And also perhaps communicating in a different way within yourself um, or with people who have been around you, communicating differently your own needs as well. Because sometimes people can push the boundaries with us, you know, and uh, say, well, I don't know whether you should be doing that or, you know, uh, I'm worried about you. And it's not even really worry. It's their fear, projecting their fear into your life. So we're going to be noticing the subtle um, things that come out of people's mouth, the subtle things that people say, the energies that uh, that brings into our life and looking at this a little more closely so that you're able to move forward and in some cases because this is a nine month September the 9 it's an ending month for a lot of things too ending of karmic ties ending of situations that have not been bringing you into fulfillment or not bringing you into the levels uh, that you need to be in so you can feel abundant in every way so there are some messages here from uh, Zuriel. So I'm going to go through those messages, uh, talking a little bit about this energy of this uh, great and amazing angel known as God's teacher. So a very teaching, actually a master teacher guide sort of energy, um, a very uplifting energy for you and awakening the universal self or the God self inside of you or source energy, whatever you want to call it. Um, the, the energy of the divine and working its way more into your life. Okay, so I'll just read some of this to you. So Zuriel is known as God's teacher, brings happiness, knowledge, relief and celebrations for everyone. Each one of us have been going through our own advancement in our own ways. There are some of us who feel like we're always chasing our tail or that it takes great effort to get where we need to be. As we move into the completion of the nine, which September represents, we'll find that we are ending quite a lot of karmic and long-standing issues. Hallelujah. We have been working on this greatly this year, and most of the year learning has been done earlier in the year. We went through incredible amounts of planetary issues and solar storms in July and started to balance in August and then found ourselves suddenly here in September and also if you look at your and I was just I just figured this out with a friend of mine today if you look in your astrology charts where Chiron is at the moment is like the wounded healing you know um, it's not really a planet but anyway if you look up Chiron 
where Chiron was when you were born and where it is now is in Aries okay so it's bringing up this this energy of the the wounds inside of you so the past traumas and issues so um, for myself my Chiron or Chiron was in my chart um, and in the year that I was born and it's in Aries and so now it's in Aries again so perhaps things from 19 I think it's 1966 to 1977 don't quote me on that so in that time space was the last time that Chiron was in um, Aries and, and here it is again so it's bringing up where there's woundings in your life um, for those who have Aries you know as uh, you know Chiron was in Aries the wounded healing is part of who you are um, rejection is, is hard for you to take um, abandonment on some levels and perhaps that's exactly what you've been through so you know the thing for you is to get over that accept yourself for who you are and bring the God self or spiritual self empowerment back into your life and that's probably true for just about anybody at the moment okay so have a look where Chiron is in your chart and this will also help you to see the deeper uh, traumas that you might need to get through as well um, okay so uh, each of us going through our journey in our own way no longer are waiting for others to come first at least we shouldn't and no longer will we deal with the same circumstances either so once we change our reaction to a situation we change the situation it doesn't affect us in the same way if it's something that's continually upsetting you you need to move out of it it's just not going to get any better if it's continually hurting you, upsetting you, making you feel sick, it's not the right thing for you. And it keeps on showing you this, you know. So, um, as we see ourselves differently, we begin to see that we've grown and everything has changed so much. We no longer want to tolerate anything that is not in alignment with our soul path and what feels right for us. You just won't be able to tolerate it. It's becoming more and more clear you know what is drama what's wasting your time where your energy is being spent worrying about everybody else and putting them first and denying your own truth and denying who you really are trying to make people understand you trying to understand the motives of other people all of it has been a wasted effort the effort should be always put into your forward movement and then everything else will begin to settle around you so it's Zuriel is, sorry, Zuriel is the master teacher and master guide. You'll be guided to do what you've been brought here on earth to do. If you don't truly know what it is, you soon will. It's really time for a whole new outlook. The guidance has been for a really long time that we're in need of moving forward, yet few of us trust in moving forward, okay? Trust is a must or else you'll f never feel confident on any level. You know, um, if you accept yourself and you trust in uh, everything going to be working out in the right way for you and even when it doesn't, that this is part of experience and you start trusting in that, you'll have confidence and nothing will, will ever take that away from you. Okay, you'll just have the confidence and once you have confidence, it's like you can do anything, right? If you need help with anything like this, please talk to me um, with my special deal. Talk to me for a couple of hours. We get through a lot of different traumatic points in your life and clear it out. Okay. Uh, if you don't know what it is, you soon will. It's time for a whole new at outlook. Uh, we're in need of moving forward, in need of trusting in it. Trust is a must or else you never feel confident. It's hard to trust when it has been broken by humans. But the universe is always and will always have your back. Don't procrastinate this month. If you need help, ask. If you've been given help, put it to work for you. Don't delay your own healing and your own destiny any longer. Work with the energy of September and Zuriel to strengthen you and bring you into true balance and deeper healing so you can bring your true light into the world and it truly is time, okay? watch the video over the month okay we've got all that so some of the crystals that you can work with include 
smoky quartz. Okay, this one's a smoky quartz. Uh, chiastolite, uh, jade, which is like green blue and blue colors. Coral, which is obviously like an orangey red. Danburite, which is also blue. Uh, blue lace agate or just anything in um, the quartz family, okay? So working with these, you can dedicate them to Zuriel, teaching, learning, wisdom, expansion, uh, ascension, those kinds of words. You can use some um, myrrh or cinnamon is a really good one to help you to concentrate. So maybe that's another one for you as well. So the key points for this month are deep wisdom, fast action, because September is going to fly by, okay? Calm and quiet reflection, imagination, creation, attunements to knowledge, spiritual practices, music and manifestation. And music can help you manifest because it takes you away from thinking mundane and lifts you and lifts your spirit and connects you to the song of the universe as well. So when you're playing music or listening to music, the moods that you have are changing. And uh, if you play an instrument, for example, you might resonate with this where you can't concentrate on anything but what you're doing. And Bobby says when he plays the drums, he just feels like he's in somewhere else, completely somewhere else. He's completely just on autopilot and he's, he's just elevated into some other kind of energy. So music really helps you and it doesn't matter what kind of music that you listen to. All right. I know there are people out there that says you shouldn't listen to this and that. Forget all the rules. You listen to whatever you want to listen to. And if you don't know me by now, you know that I love heavy metal. I love all kinds of, of rock, you know, but also all kinds of different music as well. Like you wouldn't believe some of the things that I listen to at times. Okay. So um, use music for manifesting. Remember that things are going to be speeding up. Work with your spiritual practices. Take one day at a time. Don't look too far ahead for yourself because you start getting like, oh, what if, what if, what if? Try not to do that to yourself, you know? Work with creation, creating things that you like to do. Um, expand your imagination. Nobody can take that away from you, okay? If you can imagine something, then something can start to manifest into your life as well. Um, Taking that time away and making sure that you're spending as much time as you can in nature, outside, um, doing something different um, as well. You know, walking or spending time in the sun or in the forest or just something that you can do. Spend some time outside. Otherwise, you start feeling really, really trapped in your life, you know, as well. Okay, so the message from Archangel Zuriel. Is this is a channeled message, of course, and you can find this at my website, divinemiracles.com, and look up articles, and you'll find a whole lot of articles there for you to read and things for you to do. There's also a um, chat room on my website where a lot of people come together to talk to each other. Um, so maybe check all that out as well. All right, so message from Zuriel. I'm with you now and always. I'm always here to assist you. So please don't hesitate to ask anymore. You're such amazing souls. And the spiritual realms applaud you and your efforts. Yes, there's going to be enormous change in your realms, but you are guided all the way as you move forward. Planetary shifts and earth changes play a part in what you've been experiencing, but also your own growth and changes within yourself and what you will tolerate in your life are changing now. It's truly time for you to let go of the need to worry or stress about things. Look to deeper healing as you move forward. The past is a doorway of knowledge, but can also hold you back personally and energetically. It's time to close the doors which no longer serve and also doors that others just des decide to storm through whenever they feel like it. <laughs> it's time for a brand new you and you'll be delighted at how much you actually have shifted uh, to allow for your abilities to more completely awaken. It's it is truly time to wash away the past, let it go completely and not allow anything at all to define you. People may not always understand you, but you have to do it anyway. Dare to be different. It's time for a brand new start and completely new and wonderful path. I'm here helping you every step of the way. 
blessings and light. I am Zuriel. Okay. And it's just time, you know, and we've been feeling this all year that we have to shift into where we're supposed to be. And then people feel confused about where that is and what they're supposed to be doing. And there really is no supposed to be doing anything. That's another thing that gets me is, um, you know, when people say, oh, you know, what is my true soul purpose and where am I supposed to be and am I supposed to leave my job? Am I supposed to leave this? No, you're not supposed to do anything. What you're supposed to do is trust your intuition and as far as your life purpose goes, you're supposed to, if you want to call it that, (laughs) find your happiness, you know. What makes you happy is always going to bring the most success. It's always going to be the part of your um, it's a part of your soul purpose and then your knowledge and your wisdom and your inspiration skills or your sporting skills or you know your teaching skills or whatever it is that you have or music skills that's part of your purpose as well you know because those things all make you feel happy within yourself you don't have to do anything I think people think where am I going to make the most money <laughs> If you find your happiness point, that is where the success also lies. Okay, so you will have no choice but to generate or manifest what what money you need and more because you're happy doing something. If you go to work every day and you have a degree and you you go to work every day and you hate your job, well, it really doesn't matter how much money's coming in. You're miserable inside yourself. So... The true journey is what you really love doing or what you really find uh, your happy place, you know, and it's expansive. So even if it starts off being one thing, you know, for me when I was young, it was um, palm readings and tarot and all that kind of stuff and cardamancy playing cards. And I thought that's what I was good at. I was just giving people messages, you know. But I didn't realize how much more there was to my own knowledge, you know. And when something resonates with us, when we're reading something, it's because we've learnt it before. And it's not so much that, you know, we're learning that topic, it's that we're remembering that topic. And it makes it easier for us to, you know, fall into that path. So, you know, history and um, Egyptology and mythology, um, as well as deep healing practices, were things that I loved doing. Readings, I guess, was an opening into that, you know, because I didn't particularly like doing readings. It was just that people said I was good at it. So I'm like, okay, I must be good at this. So I'm going to keep doing this. But I did like to change it to a point where it was more what's going on with the person rather than fortune telling kind of thing it was more guidance you know where you're at within your soul journey what you've been dealing with and how it's affecting you and how you can get past it that kind of thing so I did it in my own way and that's what's going to happen to you you start off somewhere you start off small and then it starts expanding out um, as you get more and more uh, knowledge coming in and more confidence to do what you want to do and it takes off so your success in, is in what brings you happiness. If doing readings or you know, working for yourself is not bringing in happiness, then you have to change an angle. You know, Change the angle, bring in a new creative thing or do something differently. Change all the energy and it all starts flowing again as well. So allow yourself to shift, allow yourself to shine. Allow yourself to be important. Uh, everybody else's happiness, you know, because people go, when everybody else is happy, then I can do my thing. It doesn't work that way because because it, you have to find your happiness first and then everyone will settle. It's like if you're doing all this and trying to please everybody and make sure everybody's quietened down and then you can do your thing, they're just feeling a stress within you from that. So it's time to really just ditch all this responsibility that we feel we have. Remember that we're only responsible for ourselves. Also remember that the most successful people in the world never give up. Never give up. Just never give up. Okay, so you keep pushing. You keep going in another direction. You change the name of your business or whatever it is that you're going to do um, to expand. 
you do it. Okay, you never give up. So if that door shuts, you wait for an opportunity or a new door, or you put it out to the universe. I want something different, lead the way. I'm not even gonna to try to figure it out. I'm just gonna let it happen and get out of your own way and allow you know, this awakening to start to happen. Karmic ties are finishing. So our karmic energy that has been coming back and coming back and coming back is, is ending. So it may leave you with situations where you thought someone was really close and they're really not, you know, and that's okay. Everybody's got their own experience and everybody has been bringing you into your own experience as well. So for the month of September, let's just ride it. Let's just move through it. Uh, let's enjoy every single day. There's going to be challenges, of course. There's going to be things going on planetary wise. There's going to be all kinds of uh, energies that, that are fluctuating but we have to maintain our spiritual and mental control of everything that we're doing and let go of the need to please other people and do more for ourselves. Even one step towards our true life goal is better than nothing, okay? So I look forward to um, speaking with you guys uh, personally on the phone um, and please go to my website divinemiracles.com and look at all the different special things that are available there, uh, the discounted prices as well, and talk to me about it. And uh, I really, really look forward to sharing the journey with you. And uh, until the next time, I'm gonna have some readings for you all, different ones, big ones, uh, smaller ones as well, and going live again real soon <laughs> for some laughs. And until the next time, lots of love, many blessings, and bye for now. Bye.